So welcome back guys and today's another kids coding playground video and today I'll be teaching you how to make a game called Space Adventures. So this this photo right here is in 3.0 but the uh, sprites are still outdated from 2.0 so we will be using other sprites when we're making the video. So the point of the game is tr to survive and destroy the aliens. We will be learning these following concepts. Key pressed, I don't think we learned that one yet. Position of sprite, mm -hmm. pick random, touch sprite, and broadcast messages again. So this is the demo. I'll be showing you the demo. So you use arrow keys to move, space to shoot, and it plays a song. And then if the bug hits you, you lose health. So that's like about the demo. And before I start, please like, share, and subscribe, and click the notification bell to support our channel. And thank you. So let's make a new project. And let's start. So the first thing we'll get is our sprites. The first sprite we'll get, so I was using the spaceship, but now they don't have the spaceship anymore, so I'll be using the rocket ship. I, I want to see if this one works. Then we need the, the um, ball sprite, or you can draw it if you want to, but I'll be taking the ball sprite. Then we also need the ladybug sprite. I think they still have this one. Yes, they still have this. You can use either one. Um, they also have the, and you also have to draw one. So you can use any font you want or any color, but I'm gonna use black. And then I'm gonna change the font to marker. This looks a little bit better. And then you lost. So you cannot win in this game. It's just to, um just trying to use survive i think that's big enough there. that's around the middle yeah around there so there we go and the first sprite we're gonna work on is the is the spaceship sprite so or the rocket ship sprite First, we have to always start out with the events if flag clicked. Let's zoom in. One. I think you can see that better. Um, point in direction 90. Um, we gotta make two variables. Score and shield. We have to go and set the score to zero. So then the score will be zero and then set the shield to a hundred. You can do anything you want, but I prefer a hundred. Um, then we need a forever loop. Forever. Forever loop, if on edge bounce, so you cannot get off the screen. Then you need, so you can control it with your arrow keys or dub, oh yeah, yeah, arrow keys. We're gonna use WSD for something else. Um, right arrow, if key, right key, right arrow is, is pressed, that means change X by 10. So we can put that in, duplicate it. We can make the left, don't remember not to overlap it. I'll change this to negative 10 because left arrow and right arrow are different. Change that to left arrow. Then we need to make the up and down arrow. If then, you know how to do this part. If then up arrow, change X by now change y by 10. And then if it's the down arrow, you gotta duplicate again. Don't rem remember not to overlap it. Down arrow, you need it to be 
negative 10. So up and down are opposites. Then we also gotta use WSD for something else. Actually, AD, we will only be using A and D. So forever, so do it forever. If then, we need if then. Um, A, key A, not W. We need only A and D. And then it will turn 15 degrees left. Then we can duplicate that, change this to D, and then change this to by 15 degrees. So you can pick any backdrop you want. I decide, well, let's pick a backdrop that's more space related. So we can take, you can take anything you want. Mm, maybe let's take space. This one, I think we should make this smaller. Yep, 70 is fine, I guess. Oopsies. Right arrow, change X by 10. So we're moving on to the bullet or the ball. And we can change the color if you want, but I'll stick with this. You need to go to. And then, this is the tricky part. You need this one, okay? Two of these. So when you get this one, you always have to change the back one first. Let's change it to rocket ship. See, and then this one shows up. But if you don't change that one, it won't work. So you have to change the back one first, and then you can, and then you can do it. And then so we need X position of rocket ship. And then you gotta go back, rocket ship, but Y position because it's the Y. And then go hide. Forever. If then, key space, because that's how you attack. Then go to X. I guess we can duplicate this. Move 50 steps and show. So show in the tip of the spaceship. Then we need to repeat until. Remember, do not overlap them or else the game would not work. Actually, this one I think we have to overlap, but some games you don't have to overlap, but this one we overlap a touching edge. edge move 10 steps so keep on moving until it touches the edge then we need a hide right here so it'll hide again and it'll go back to the spaceship go to X so it's the same thing right here so I guess this code is right here and then let's move on to the ladybug co code so let's go to the ladybug when start forever you have to show oh go to x we need to pick random one no, pick random negative 222 x to 220 positive, positive 220. And Y, oh, let's say 135. Glide 1.5 seconds. Glide, let's say 1.5 seconds to pick random one to 10. So we can keep that. And then about negative 180. Stick with that one. And then, if then start forever. Well, you can choose any sounds you want. I guess we can choose a space related. Is there any space? 
Mm. Now let's take Medieval. Medieval. Let's take, yeah, let's take this one. If there isn't a space related, play Medieval 1 until done. So, we're still in the Ladybug. Forever. We need a Forever loop. Yeah, if then. Touching spaceship. Touching spaceship. Rocket ship. Then change shield by negative one. Then we got also have to make the other code. So we have to go if flag clicked. Then forever, if then, statement, touching bullet. So that's how you get score. Bullet, ball. Then change score by one. By one. High. We're almost done. We just have to. Go through one more thing, the you lost sprite. So if flag clicked, hide, you always have to hide because you didn't lose in the beginning yet. Wait two seconds, this wait two seconds is really important because you if you don't if you don't put the wait two seconds, I'm gonna code it without the wait two seconds and then it doesn't work because you have to click the green flag twice for it to work and that's not good so you'll so you can click it once with the wait two seconds because it'll just keep on saying that you lost and you lost so because it's already because you already lost the last one so it's a you'll keep on saying you lost so you got to click it twice so that's not good let's change it zero i'll put in the two seconds later and then this one zero so if the shield is smaller than zero like negatives it'll still die so show and stop all so i just checked it again and based on the different sprites and stuff um the ball you need a point in direction 90 or else it's sh uh, a zero or else it will be shooting out of another place and so we can delete this block of code because it doesn't really work so we can um move on to the you lost you can change the color because i thought this color is a little bit darker so i'm going to change this red i think red looks better so and um we can also, oh, I think we're almost, yeah. So we can add the wait two seconds right here. And then it's shooting the ball. I think we can make the, let's see if the, oh yeah, I forgot to change the shield. So I accidentally took out the shield thing for testing. So yeah, so let's see. The ball is working. Let's see if the bug can kill the rocket ship. The music's a little bit loud. See, look, I lost. See, look, it works. But then we can also make the ball smaller because this is, I think, a little bit too big. We can make it 60, I think. This would work. Yeah, this is pretty good. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a good day.